a very warm welcome dear students on my classroom this is the time where you complete your two years of effort and give it a shape to get maximum marks in your je main 2022 so how to score maximum marks in mathematics what all chapters to do how to do them and what to focus on is what we are going to look at and the idea will be to maximize your marks in mathematics for je main now if you classify all the chapters roughly there will be about 25 chapters in mathematics some are very difficult and take high time to preparation some are low time taking some have high weightage and some have low weightage so based on these two parameters of weightage and time taken for the preparation you can classify them into four groups so First and foremost, you should, your focus should be on high weightage topics which can be covered easily within a very short time. So, first let us look at high weightage topics which can be done in very less time. What are those topics? Vectors. Vectors do not do the entire universe of the questions, just focus on the arcades. There are limited models which are being asked on scalar triple product, vector triple product and basic cross product, dark product questions and simple applications of geometry. So for covering them, you will not take much time, keep archives behind you and all the relevant concepts, everything you can revise and practice few questions on that. And vector equations is being regularly asked. So how to solve a vector equation, have sufficient practice on that. Three dimensional geometry is again something which you can easily cover. If you look at all the previous year questions, J main questions are revolving around whether two play lines are coplanar or not, how to find line of intersection between a line and a plane and distance between skew lines. So these are the simple concepts which are being asked in three dimensional geometry, covering them will not take much time at all. Sequence and series, a very relevant topic and plenty of questions are being asked every year, at least two questions are asked from this chapter. AP, GP, you have been doing for years now. So that is something which you will be comfortable. AGP, infinite series questions on AGP is something which you have to revise. VN method, telescopic cancellation is something which you have to focus on this. So practice at least 5 to 10 questions on telescopic cancellation. Questions are being asked regularly. And that AMGM inequality, AMGM inequality is again very important for you. So this is again something which you can cover in a very short span of time. Straight lines, straight lines, it looks like it has plenty of formulae, but not. It has plenty of varieties of questions. So stick to our case, whatever basic questions are being asked in JE main, just solve them and recap all the formulae, review all the formulae. You will have a stronghold because you have been using them in all chapters of coordinate geometry. However, make a point that you go through all the formulae once again. Circle. Circle is again a simple topic. Most of the questions are being asked on the basic equation of circle, tangent of a circle and normally the simple concept any line passing through the center will be a normal. Then questions are being asked on orthogonality of circles, questions are being asked on family of circles, radical axis given to circles, how to find another circle passing through their point of intersection and given a circle touching a line at a point using that point as a point circle. That is a very important model of question, which is almost asked in every alternate paper. So that is universe of circle. You can complete it very quickly. Application of derivatives. Application of derivatives is very less in terms of concepts. Again, lot of varieties of questions are there. Regularly asked question is on monotonicity. If you simply know how to deal with monotonicity, which will take less than 10 to 15 minutes, you will be able to do solve a question on monotonicity. While doing monotonicity, there is a combination with Newton Leibniz theorem, questions on integral, f of x is given as integral and how to check monotonicity of that function. That concept is also very important. Tangents and normals, you have simple formulae there. It will not take much time. Angle between the two curves is also being asked. So just recap that. Rolle's theorem, Lagrange's theorem, not many questions are asked, obviously, because it is difficult to frame a question in objective pattern in this. However, there are four or five questions which are being asked both in JE main and GE advanced. You can go through those questions that will suffice for as far as mean value theorems is 
concerned. Application of intermediate value theorem, how many roots, prove that there is exactly one root. So those questions are asked very regularly. Intermediate value theorem, spend some time on it. This is the universe of application of derivatives. Now quadratic equation, quadratic equation is again a chapter which I have been doing regularly. Spend some amount of time in terms of location of roots and then applications of a graph theory of quadratic equation using graph how to solve quadratic expressions and symmetric equations spend some time on symmetric equations as well binomial theorem again not many questions are asked on binomial coefficients you can stick to your ncrt textbook as far as binomial coefficients is concerned terms are concerned again ncrt book will suffice only spend some time on multinomial expansion multinomial expansion these days last few years questions are being asked how to find coefficient of a power 9 b power 8 c power 10 in a plus b plus c whole power 29 such kind of questions are being asked so focus on those questions area under the curve again not many formulae and majority of the questions if you identify they revolve around finding area under a circle circle will be one graph which is commonly asked straight line graph parabola exponential if you learn these four graphs most of the questions, 90% of the questions are being covered in area under the curve. Statistics. Statistics again, not at all formula intensive. Don't go to distribution tables, cumulative distribution, quartile deviations, none of them are required. Basic mean, mode, median, empirical formula between them. How to calculate standard deviation, variance, a shortcut for standard deviation is there. Go through that and then focus on the questions which are being asked on standard deviation of first and natural numbers, even natural numbers, odd natural numbers or numbers of the form 7 k plus r and how multiplying a number through a sequence will affect mean and variance, how adding a number will affect mean and variance. So these simple things if you learn that will suffice in statistics chapter. Then comes the and doing this will cover 50% of the syllabus, 50% of the questions you will be able to do after completion of these chapters and this will not take much time in very first 10 days of your preparation you will be complete, able to complete 50% of your preparation and that will boost your confidence and then comes low weightage chapters, these chapters are of low weightage but they are also of less time consuming. So it is wise to complete these chapters so that you will feel that lot of chapters are completed. Trigonometric equations, trigonometric equations if you are able to find the general solutions that is that will suffice. Nothing extra is required in terms of preparation of trigonometric equations. However, also look at trigonometric inequation for about 15 to 20 minutes how to write the general formula whenever a trigonometric inequation is involved. Differentiation. Again, you have been using it both in your physics as well as mathematics, logarithmic differentiation, parametric differentiation are something which you have to take care of and there are some regularly asked questions in archives, especially related to d square y by dx square, go through all those questions and be thorough with them. Set and relations, again not plenty of concept, set theory you also learn in probability, set theory is useful for probability, de Morgan law, etc. and relations. One simple concept, understanding whether a given relation is transitive, reflexive or symmetric, that's it. If you learn that, one question you will be able to do. Have a proper understanding of these three relations. Mathematical logic is again a very simple concept. How to deal with R, how to deal with negation, negation of P or Q, how to write the simple truth table and how to do the axiomatic questions like negation of p or q is negation p and negation q and how to convert implication sign into r and how to complete convert r into implication so these things if you understand you are thorough with mathematical logic practice sufficient questions the same type of repeated questions are being asked in mathematical logic and it is wise to spend some time and get a hold on this topic properties of triangle Again, there are variety of questions, Don't, you need, no, need not focus on them, focus on sine rule, cosine rule, Napier analogy, tangent rule, area formulae and then in radius, x radius, 
this will suffice area of the triangle okay don't go to nine point circle or do other stuff and solve basic questions understand from which question type which formula to use that will complete your preparation on properties of triangles heights and distances is your simple geometry with a combination of basic trigonometry some questions are being asked especially related to shadow length and other things so just solve archive questions it doesn't need any additional theory preparation basic trigonometry whatever you know will suffice here so solve some questions at least about four to five questions on heights and distances that will cover this chapter then then you have the chapters so till now 50 percent in the high weightage 10 percent in the low weightage overall you were able to complete 60 percent of your syllabus 60 percent of your syllabus is already over that means you are ready to score 60 marks now let's focus on the remaining 40 marks how to get them then you have high weightage chapters which take more time to complete so to get more number of marks you have to invest determinants and matrices this if you have to complete the entire chapter it will take a lot of time but let me tell you there are only few areas which you need to focus initially in matrices solving system of equations very simple concept and regularly being asked almost 70 to 80 percent of questions revolve around system of equations then comes adjoint properties and inverse adjoint and inverse it will not take much time there are five to six properties on adjoint how to find adjoint of adjoint of a how to use a into adjoint of a is equal to i into mod a n get a n and all these things so learn focus on adjoint inverse system of equations that will cover majority of matrices then comes your transpose transpose and the definition of skew symmetric matrix symmetric matrix nilpotent idempotent and orthogonal matrices orthogonal matrices is also a very simple and useful concept so learning these things will complete your matrices preparation in no time determinant in various textbooks you will have plenty of questions it is not needed to solve all those questions rarely you are getting a question on a deep determinant concept so basic determinants basic row operations of determinants basic multiplication of determinants basic differentiation of determinant will suffice so later part you can postpone it to your advanced preparation functions again knowing periodicity even odd nature domain calculation of range of a function so do as many questions as possible here roughly around 10 to 15 questions you have to solve in terms of finding range and domain of a functions each of them probability major focus should be on classical definition of probability then using conditional probability total probability theorem Bayes theorem if these four concepts if you look at thoroughly that will complete your probability chapter and before doing probability be thorough with permutations and combinations limits continuity and differentiability this is again little time consuming but definitely decent set of questions will come especially on continuity if you are not having time for all of them then continuity you are being asked standard simple questions which can be done in less than 30 to 40 seconds so don't ignore continuity and basic limits basic limits higher level of questions in limits you can ignore if you want basic limits with continuity will give you assurance that you will be able to solve this question 90 percent okay remaining 10 percent you can take the chance and for that 10 percent you can focus on higher level of limits questions and differentiability is also a simple concept we will try to make a video on differentiability don't confuse a lot with differentiability it will be a simple concept definite integral high weightage at least two questions will be asked uh, but it is little time consuming based on the number of varieties of different varieties of questions are considered but yes definitely do it towards the end of your preparation and complex numbers complex numbers again has a lot of varieties of questions in it but if you want to stick if you want to do it in a short time focus on geometry of a complex number focus on standard loci standard loci and basic properties of i and basic addition and multiplication and division of complex numbers mod z and arc z are very important in complex numbers have a proper understanding of modulus of a complex number and argument of a complex number and finally least but last but not the least 
Demoris theorem and rotation theorem. Demoris theorem and rotation theorem is what you have to learn. And this completes 85% of your preparation. 85% of your preparation. And towards the end, you can do differential equation. Differential equation, regular question is being asked on variable separable method and linear differential equation. So, if you have don't have time to cover entire span, focus on variable separable methods and linear differential equations. Trigonometric ratios and functions. This can be your last chapter. Just simply revise all the formulae and do some standard archive questions. Don't do anything from any of the textbooks. Just review the formulae and do questions only from standard archives, whatever has been asked previously. Inverse trigonometry, again, intensive topic to learn, but simple questions are being asked in JE main. So, stick to R caves here. Indefinite integral, do R cave questions. There is a beautiful way in which questions are being asked in indefinite integral. They are not going for huge substitution questions or lot of formula based questions. Major questions revolve around e power x into f of x plus f dash x formula or identification of antiderivative. Just by looking at the question, you will be able to see it is derivative of which function, maybe by multiplying, dividing by x or doing something like that, you will be able to identify. So, focus on R caves and one very important concept which you have to learn in indefinite integral is under heading binomial distribution or binomial integrals 1 by x power m into x power n plus 1 whole power p that type of questions you need to learn in indefinite integral regularly being asked. And it is a simple concept, either you directly go for the substitution or take x power n out and go for the substitution. Permutation and combination also, do not get worried by looking at the universe of questions given in all the textbooks are being taught to you. At advanced levels, yes, there will be plenty of varieties of questions, but in JE main, Elementary counting questions are being asked. Elementary counting questions are being asked. So, do around R caves. Do around R caves if you are not very comfortable with the chapter. Conic sections, not many questions are being asked. There will be one or two questions maximum. So, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, all three chapters together, you will get one to two questions. So, that can be your last chapter. Parabola, focus only up to tangent and propositions, properties of focal chord, properties of parabola, standard equation, tangent and standard properties of parabola. Not many questions are being asked on normal. Last year, however, there was a question on normal. Normal equation is also not very difficult. Standard normal equation, if you do y is equal to mx minus 2am minus am cube question, that will suffice for parabola. Similarly with ellipse, do not do lot of theory on ellipse to standard equation of ellipse, tangents and normal equation that will suffice and property of ellipse S A plus S dash A is equal to 2 A where S and S dash are force. So, once you do that, that will complete your ellipse. Hyperbola asymptotes and rectangular hyperbola are very important. So, go through them towards the end of your preparation and this covers the complete circle of mathematics. Make best use of the time and scan not solve each and every question. Whatever you are already confident and whatever you think you know, just go through them. That is it. You need not solve again and again. And for mass practice is very essential. So, keep giving mock tests regularly. At least 10 tests in mathematics are needed to strengthen your preparation. The more you practice, the more confidence you gain in mathematics. So, initially glance through all the concept and then start giving mock tests. It can be sub chapter wise mock test or it can be part test or it can be full test, length test, but keep practicing. All the very best.